Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I'm going to do a little something for you that I might just have to start doing every week and that is I'm going to give you a little fucking Monday morning pep talk. The thing that people hit me up about all the fucking time, it's people who have been writing for years, it's people who've just started. It's people who I've given this advice to, or this pep talk to, repeatedly. And it's still something that keeps coming up. And what that is, is a lot of you think that you shouldn't be writing because you don't think either your stuff is good enough or that anyone's going to care. Okay? So... Right off the bat, if, if I'm talking to you, if that's you, okay, the only person you need to be writing for is yourself. The reason why we create anything is to have an outlet. We create to exist. We don't create so people will like us. If we wanted people to like us, we would just get a really high paying job and give people money because we all know that that's all anyone ever fucking wants, right? The only person that you need to worry about is you. Now, saying that, what you have to do then is when you look at your work, when you're done with it, don't ever ever think is this something that people would like like is this as good as blah 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 da, da, da. all you have to do is see if you like it based on your soul that's it and here's where the fucking rub comes in that's like oh shit if you do that Oh my gosh, I'm getting blown up over here. If you do that, and you, yourself, like your work, there is a good possibility that other people will like it too. Because you like it. So people who like the things that you like will also like the stuff that you write. Because you guys have similar interests and similar feelings. Now, you don't know who these people are, and you don't need to, okay? Because once you start putting your work out there, people will find it. And your tribe will start growing once people who are like-minded like the stuff you do, okay? Now, yes, there's many other factors that you could put into here, but that's not important to what we're talking about right now. Because the thing we are getting at right now is you being okay with your own work. Now, a lot of times we talk about doubt. This isn't even doubt. This is just, are you happy with what you wrote? Like if you wrote a bunch of poems and then sat down and like read them, like you were just reading anyone else, are you enjoying yourself? Do you surprise yourself every once in a while? Are you like, fuck, that's a good fucking line. Like, does this ever happen? Do you, do you feel sympathy for the you that wrote that? Because if you do, I guarantee someone else will feel the same way. So you don't have to worry about comparing yourself to other people. You don't have to worry about who is going to like your stuff. Just know that someone will. And when I say someone, I mean multiple people. The I hate Matt Wall, like, brand. It's no joke. Like, a lot of motherfuckers despise the shit out of me, you know? And if you don't believe me, there's been a couple podcasts put out in the last couple days. No, I'm just fucking around. So my point here is, is that if I were to worry about if people thought I was good enough, or if people weren't going to like my stuff. I never would have done anything. 
And every time I write something, I know in my head, I'm like, you know what? This type of people are going to hate this. Or this one person I already know is going to fucking really hate this poem. And that's okay. Because it doesn't fucking matter. Because, like, who for every one person that doesn't like my shit, there's at least one person that does. And that's the people you need to focus on. Focus on the people who fucking think you're great. And feed those people. You don't need to be fucking trying to get all these motherfuckers who are never going to like your stuff anyway, for one reason or another. And for, for those of you in the Bukowski Book Club and all that shit, I've talked about this a lot of times. For a long period, Bukowski was trying to placate academia and trying to get them to approve of him. And he really wanted that. He really, really wanted that. But while he was trying to get them to like him and hoping that they would like him, he amassed this huge following, almost like unbeknownst to him. And then finally, in his later years, he finally was just like, oh, I don't need academia. And he was just fine writing stuff. And I think that was the best period of his work. Don't write to people that you already know aren't going to dig your shit just write for your true fans. And the best way to write for your true fans is to write for yourself. Because if you like that stuff, you will then be your number one fan. And people, again, who are into the shit you're into and into the feelings that you're into and into the, the metaphors you use, into the pictures you paint, will find you. But none of that shit matters if you don't like your own work. So don't worry about anybody else. When you're sitting down to write or when you're looking at what you've written, don't ever think, are people going to like this? And don't ever compare yourself to other people. Because you're always going to fail if you do that. And there's absolutely no need to do that. Okay? So I hope this was inspirational for you you have a full fucking week ahead of you right now so make something fucking happen get some fucking shit done and fucking love the shit you do all that doubt shit don't worry about it just do you enjoy it that's it okay so if you like this hit the like button i would love it if you subscribed i would love it even harder if you shared this video okay so Type hard. There'll be other writing tip videos around here somewhere. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer, send them my way. Okay? And I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.